The Philippine Navy gets a view of modern warship technology and a unique training opportunity with the visit of foreign warships, such as the missile-guided cruiser Varyag, a Navy officer has said. It's a training opportunity. We can also view their technology as part of our modernization Navy fleet staff for maintenance and repair," Captain Leo Ramon Miato said on the sidelines of the Varyag's arrival ceremony at Pier 15, South Harbor, Manila on Thursday morning. The Varyag and her escorting tanker, the Pechenga, both of which belong to the Russian Pacific Fleet, are here for a goodwill visit. This is the fourth visit of Russian warships in the Philippines since the arrival of missile cruiser Admiral Tribitz and her tanker Boris Butoma last January. The Varyag is the third ship of the Slava class of guided missile cruisers built for the Soviet Navy serving the Russian Navy. She was launched in July 1983 and commissioned on October 16, 1989, and is commanded by Captain Alexei Yulianenko. The Varyag has a displacement of 11,490 tons and has a length of 611.5 feet and a draft of 27.6 feet. Its propulsion system consists of four Koga gas turbines, with two shafts, giving it a top speed of 32 knots and a range of 10,000 nautical miles. It is armed with a variety of anti-ship, anti-aircraft and anti-submarines missiles and gun systems. The guided missile cruiser Varyag, accompanied by the fuel tanker ship Pechenge, are on a four-day goodwill visit to the Philippines, the second port called by Russian warships in three months. The move is part of what Duter describes as a pursuit of a constitutionally mandated independent foreign policy. He has made no secret of his grudge against the United States and has made befriending Russia and China the priority of his diversification drive. Captain Ludlin Kuna, director of the Philippine Navy's public affairs, said the Philippines hoped to learn from the Russians during training activities and a demonstration of advanced equipment and weapons systems. The schedule includes training and sports activities with the flagship vessel of the Russian Pacific Fleet, plus a Russian concert in a park. Russian Commander Captain Alexei Ulyanenko said the port call would make a significant contribution to strengthening relations and maintaining stability in the region. Moscow wants to help Manila combat extremism and piracy, stepping up cooperation and training in areas where the Philippines has traditionally worked closely with its former colonial master the United States. The relationship is expected to develop further next month when Duterte and Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin witnessed the signing of defense agreements in Moscow. When Duterte met Putin for the first time last year, the Philippine leader spoke at length about what he called U.S. hypocrisy. Duterte has instructed his defense minister to look into how the Philippines could acquire modern military equipment from Russia, like drones, night vision gear, sniper rifles, and even helicopters.